Well, good evening, everyone. One of the folks that bought a few of my heifers here this week and came to the house to pick them up was looking at my gate light system and my working pins. And he said, hey, can you take some pictures of those for me? So I thought, you know, I've got a lot of different latches around the ranch and I wanted to maybe just show you a few different options that you might consider depending on your application and how you want to put that all together but in my working pins themselves these gate hinges are really heavy duty um, they've got grease zerks in them to grease them and we're not going to talk about the hinges but you can see um, we've got a cattle panel welded to the pipe gate and the latch is a system where it's just a probably three quarter inch pipe and you just activate it back and forth and what that does down here is push that solid piece of pipe or solid piece of rod through that pipe and you can see the hinge system here and you can manufacture whatever you like there but that has to move just a touch as that goes through its excursion i put some silicone grease on these and they work pretty seamlessly but one of the things that's really helpful is to keep this gate latched we have a little flip lever here and again out of some uh, bar stock material and you can see how they manufactured that that little little piece of pipe welded there the bar stock goes through it it's bent and the nice thing about that is if you have horses horses are bad about learning how to open gates and so that's a secure way to keep that from happen keep this gate from being opened by a horse we had horses when i was growing up and we had these same latch systems and they a smart horse can learn to open that so we have the latch system halfway down a little bit further than halfway down is the the pivot part or the little hinge system to keep everything in place and then the moving mechanism is down here so that's a good latch i'm going to drive around the drive around the ranch and i'm going to show you some different latches as well Still in the pins, here's a, another latch, it's just a side gate to get uh, out of the area where we push the cattle into the chute. And again, your imagination is your guide, but this latch system, you pull up on it and, it's, and it unlatches, you can see we got it uh, two two ways to catch or two catch systems so that is very secure and cattle are going to be pushing on that from the inside of this swing around area so that's helpful and I'll show you some more here in just a second so I'm still in the pins and this is the gate that leads to the chute area and again similar deal uh, pipe welded here to stabilize this particular latch system got an arm here that's on a bit of a hinge it's secured halfway up and then we've got the same handle up here to activate that latch and then we can step out of this swing around area and I have a Spring, spring loaded latch there so that works really well 
and we just it's got a heavy duty spring in there if you keep that greased that will work well very secure and then last but not least there's a latch here that slides in there you can see the mechanism and the, the handle coming off of it but that is a very effective latch so it catches and latches you they they can't get that loose or you can open it up and let it be and then it can't latch it can't latch back if you want to leave that open for whatever reason i don't know that this is necessary but this sure is and then again still in the pins saw all these latches as i was trying to leave so just want to show them to you this is just a chain welded to that uh, outside uh, pipe and then it comes through and you can latch this whatever length you want it and again that's very secure those cattle can push against that and they can't they can't pop that out so another good option and we have that area where we can close this primarily to keep us safe from the cattle in that pin if we got anything that we're trying to keep off of us while we're working on the while we're working the chute um, and it's a good way to separate cows too so again just an old piece of chain welded there and that works well so getting close to being out of hay for the winter and hopefully the grass is going to come on and start greening up we're right at the at the end of the feeding season and so when my hay is out we're gonna have to make them feed themselves so i got a pasture that hasn't been grazed for about 60 days it's mostly dead bermuda grass and bahia but it's going to have some things start to come but anyway the opening to my um hay lot the latch system just a chain you got to get a little slack out of it here but just a chain and a catch there and again very secure i don't like this much just because i got to fumble with it a bit um, particularly one-handed but very very secure now I, I wouldn't want this in my pins at all just because it's a very lightweight gate and they'd bend the smithereens out of that but again just another latch system that you could consider here is a pasture division gate and this is an interesting concept i like it for ease of use it's not very secure but it's just a piece of pipe welded there you can see we got some another type of pipe through that and bent so this goes all the way around and so when you go to close the gate you just lift that up drop it over and it's got this stop welded here you want to unlatch it lift it up and you've got the gate unlatched and, and that hangs again a nice little latch um, for an interior fence not secure i've had i've had horses when i had horses on the place open that and i su suppose a cow could if she got to nosing around here's an outside gate you can see the county road right there and this is a perimeter fence got the same latch that you saw in the corral very secure works well an animal cannot open that i want to show you the county road we bring our hay in on a semi and so they come down this road and this gate here 
that I just showed you the latch on it's too tight of a corner for that semi to make it and um, they just can't get in so what we did was we made this pipe fence a gate and so we made it look exactly the same with regard to pipe spacing so this whole thing is the gate hinges are over there the gates here we lock it with a padlock I don't have a specific latch here but look what we did down here at the bottom so that gate won't sag we put out that little lip of pipe and the bottom of that gate fits right on there so they've got that beveled on the gate side so it fits right over that piece of pipe and that is wonderful for keeping your hinges good these are heavy duty hinges you actually got to lift it up these are big heavy duty hinges here work well they got grease zerks on them um, but that allows us to come down off the county road through this gate make a wide sweeping turn so they don't have to turn and go into that gate and get into a situation where they're in a jam they can just make a sweeping turn right through here and then on up to the barn where the, where the hay lot is on the other side of the barn unload and we're good to go so again just showing you some ideas things that you can do you can take pieces of what I've done or what we've done here and put them somewhere in your system if you so choose so here's another latch system again uh, this probably I would guess is about a 14 foot gate and if you look at this this is a piece of, of stock that size to fit in between or inside of this three-quarter inch pipe and then you got this pipe over the top that is welded in here to this stub and this is slotted so that it moves back and forth and it just fits right in that hole um, I don't care for that too much when we got uh, bad ice you could not get this thing open absolutely couldn't beat on it whatnot you'd have to get hot water to thaw that out so it would be usable and I did have to do that um, so it's an okay latch it's not secure I had I had uh, a round bale in here trying to get some organic matter down on this little road back in to this area and the cattle were all congregated here and one Sunday morning my neighbor called and said all the cattle were out on the road down there and so they bumped that open so not a great latch at all um, but it works and we make do um, but that's why I have a rope here and the chain to lock the gate if I need to so that if I have cattle in here and they're anywhere close I can um, keep that gate secure so I got a three-way system here and these things get a little sticky they definitely get a little sticky so you got to keep them um, you got to keep them lubed up we again I use a silicone type lube that comes in a spray can that's handier than handy WD-40 anything along that line is is good as well and here is the lazy man's gate opener it's a automatic gate opener it's got a keypad over here um, we all have a remote in our vehicles and so we can just drive up here hit the remote and that opens and then we drive through and it closes on its own it's on a timer when we come out of the house we drive about to this corner here and there's a sensor buried underneath the ground there and once the vehicle hits that sensor it opens automatically from the inside 
so that uh, makes getting in and out of your place easier but again not very secure um, somebody can get in there relatively easy but they can get in if they want to get in they'll get in so the lazy man gate opener and the la and gate latch again another perimeter gate and this is some metal art that my wife had put in there that my nephew uh, did and he did an outstanding job so we got the gate here and I really like this latch. Look at this. This is a latch system where you just lift this up and the gate opens. So I just push the gate, it's open. And if you look at this, the lighting's not the best, so I apologize. I'm kind of looking in the sun. But the gate comes through here, the latch on the gate, which is just this little um, stub sticking out <clears throat> and that comes in here just like my finger pushes that up and then it's caught so this latch opens up either way you just lift it up with your finger it's up lift it up with your finger and then it's beveled on the edges so that when that little stub comes in and hits it it pushes it up and it catches and then this plate that stob sits right there if the hinges sag at all it keeps your your gate from sagging so a very ingenious latch I really like it so there's some latches for you to consider I hope you found this useful for you and just give you some things to think about and plan as you design latches that work for your gates and fences have a great day stay in the saddle and thank you so much for riding along with me